Okay guys, so today we'll solve the problem. Row with max once on Geeks for Geeks. So the question says given a Boolean 2D array of n cross m dimensions where each row is sorted, find the zero based index of the first row that has the maximum number of ones. Okay, so what we just have to do in this question is find the row. This is a sort sorted matrix, so we have to find the row which has the maximum number of ones in it. So in this case, this is the third row. And we have to return the index of this row, which is 2, it's because 0, 1, and 2. Okay, so, okay, so how we'll solve this problem? Uh, yeah, so, I'm copy pasting this. Okay, yeah. So since it's a sorted matrix, what we can do is we'll loop through each row in the matrix, okay, and we'll assign this is this as left, this as right, and this as mid. Okay. So you have your left, right, and mid. Okay, and then we'll perform the binary search and we'll check if the mid is one or not so three there uh, there will be three conditions if mid is one and the previous element of one so mid minus one basically if it is zero okay if mid is one and this is zero the mid minus one is zero then return mid or if mid is one and m is zero since m is zero and mid and uh, mid is one oh, sorry since m is zero okay and then array of mid would be an array of mid is one. Okay, then that would give us this element, basically a uh, example like this, where m is zero and array of m is equal to one. So we just return mid in this case also. Okay, and besides them, if we have, and besides those cases, we check if m is one, okay, over here, then we'll do, uh, since m is one, then we'll do a r minus one. Okay, we'll do an r minus one over here and keep r over here okay then find l m again and m would be this over here in this case okay okay so this is not the right example we uh, we'll do the second row okay so we'll do it over here in this one because this is the right example so this is l okay this is m now this is R and this is M, okay? Now since this is M, we'll check if M is 0 or uh, if M is zero, 1 or not, 1 is, M is not 1. So what we do is we'll do a L plus 1 over here. So on doing an L plus 1, we get L over here, okay? Now M would be over here as well. Okay, so M would be here as well. Okay, so now on checking it, we find that the one and index zero is present. So, so this is M is one and the uh, previous element is zero. So we just return mid. Okay, and, and after returning the mid, what we'll do is we we'll return the index of it. Okay, so what we're going to do is take the length of the matrix and subtract the mid from it. So the length is four, and in this case the index was one. So we we'll subtract four with one, so we get the number of ones present in the matrix. So three. Okay, so we'll do that for all the cases. Okay, and now I think I should just code it first and then explain the process further because it's a bit complicated to explain it like this. Okay, so yeah.
yeah and on submitting on running the code okay so there's an error I think so, yes, and submitting it. Yeah, it's submitted. Okay, so what we're doing is uh, so we're taking r as the length of the array. So the length of the array is 4 over here, as you can see. There are 4 rows 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we're taking uh, r is 4, and c is the length of 0. So array zero, which is the first in the first row. So this RC is going to be the length of this, which is also four. And we're making and assigning two variables, max row index, which will give us the index of the index of the row which has maximum number of ones, and we're assigning it a default variable minus one, and we're taking value max and assigning it a variable of minus one. So we're going to loop through the index, and first we'll take the index and go inside the function. And we're going to take the first. We're going to take the first row of the matrix inside it, and assign the value zero, l zero as l, r as one. Okay, and we'll move forward, and we'll assign this as mid. This one will become the mid. Okay, and then we'll check if mid is equal to one, which it is, and if array of mid minus one is equal to zero. So array of mid minus one is also zero. So we just return mid. So on returning mid, we have the index, we have the mid's value as one. Right now mid is one. So we're gonna check if index is not equal to minus, which is which it isn't. And c minus index. So c minus index is three right now because it's gonna be four minus one. So it'll be three, which is greater than minus one. So we'll assign it value of three, and the row, uh, and the index. Right now currently the first row has the highest value, so it'll be zero. So the max row index will be zero. Similarly, we go to the second row, and we'll check for this uh, for this one for the second row in the matrix. Okay, so this will be L. This will be R. Now, since L would so since M is zero this time, so M is zero right now. Yeah. So we'll do we'll do a recursive call for the array. We'll do a mid plus one. So M will go over here, and then high will be R. So L will be here and R will be here. And this time on performing the same function, so performing the mid again, we'll get mid as equal to one. And this time mid minus one is zero, so we'll return mid. So this time the index we get is two. And now we check if index minus two is greater than max. So index minus two, currently the max is three and index is two, so it's not greater. So we won't go inside this. And we go into the next iteration, which is this. Okay, in this iteration, the L is one, L will be one, R will be one, and mid will also be one over here. So we'll check if mid is one. So yeah, mid is one in this case, and mid minus one is not zero. Okay. So we'll get this one. We'll go do this one. This iteration. So we do a mid minus one. So R will become. So R will go here. Okay. So in this case, L would be here. M would be here and R after the first iteration. After the first case, it will go over here. Okay. Now this time M will go over here. Okay. And since M is over here now, you have to check the value of M is one. Okay. And the mid is equal to zero. Now since mid is equal to zero and array of mid is equal to one, so we can return the mid value as zero. Okay. Now, since we get the index as 0 over here, so c minus index is going to be 4, because it's going to be 4 minus 0, which is greater than 3. So, we'll uh, change the values over here. Okay, so this will be 4. Max will be 4, and the max row index will be, uh, so the max row index will be 2. Okay, now I'm going to the fourth iteration. We'll check right now with four zeros. Okay, since array on uh, no, L, M, and R, as you guys know, this is L, this is R, and this is going to be M this one okay the so array of mid is equal to zero so array of mid is equal to zero we can do a recursive call so we'll do l plus one so l become this m will also become this and r will become this 
Now since L is again 0, so we'll do a recursive call again. So L, R and M all will come over here this time in the last element. Okay. And since we don't have any ones, we'll just return a minus one this time. Okay. Now since we return a minus one over here, so the four, uh, so after returning a minus one, so index of four minus of minus one will give us uh, four, I think four minus one. Yeah, since it's a minus one, we won't go inside the loop because index is not, should not be equal to minus one. Okay. And since we don't go inside the loop, we just return the row matrix because the iterations are complete and the last and the value of row minus index will be uh, returned, which is two. So yeah, that's how you solve the problem guys. And thanks.